Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. My name is Modassi Rugiwa and it's great to be here with you once again. Let's get started. The topic for today's video was prompted by a rather sad and unfortunate incident in the indie game development scene. Solo indie developer Emika Games recently made a decision to leave game development indefinitely owing to a recent exploitation of the Steam Store refund policy by gamers which left the studio with low earnings and little to no funds with which to make another game. The game in question is Summer of 58, a first-person horror game set in Russia about a video blogger investigating an abandoned Soviet camp the locals believed was inhabited by restless souls. The game received very positive reviews on Steam. However, due to the game being a rather short one at 90 minutes of gameplay, Steam Store's refund policy which allows gamers to request a refund for games less than 2 hours logged playtime within 14 days of purchase has led to most players, including those who had given the game a positive review, request a refund, leaving the developer with little to show for their creative effort. Playing a game from start to finish, enjoying the experience, and leaving positive reviews, yet still going ahead to request a refund has been disheartening for the developer. Personally, we believe video game refund policies should take into account the varying length of video games by having different policies for different game lengths and or only granting refund requests for genuine and valid reasons like false advertising, technicalities, and the like. We really hope Steam looks into this and makes amends to the refund policy so more developers can freely make the types of games they want rather than being forced to fluff up their game in a bid to beat the 2 hours limit. Well, that was our own opinion on the subject and would really love to hear yours. So for the question of the week, if you were to design a game store refund policy, how would you go about it and what factors would you put into consideration? Please let us know in the comment below. Remember, leaving thoughtful comments on all weekly questions also makes you eligible for our monthly $20 gift card giveaway. Up next are the winners of last week's giveaway. Congratulations to Magic Man X, Unknown Player, Arthur Louvet, Koha Tran, and Ledan. We will reach out to you once we've sent your keys. For our first time giveaway winners on this channel, please use the link in the description below to sign up to our mailing list and edit your entry comment from last week's giveaway video with the first part of your email before the at sign so that we can verify and send you your key. Also, Dying Light 2 special giveaway is currently ongoing, so if you haven't entered already, be sure to check it out using the link in the description. Now let's move on to this week's giveaway games. Remember to enter for this giveaway, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and leave a comment with the names of your game of choice in the preferred order. The first game on our list is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This is an exploration focused side scroller action RPG, considered by many to be the spiritual successor to Castlevania. Taking place in 18th century England, you play as Miriam, an orphan whose body is slowly being crystallized by an alchemist's curse. In order to save herself and all of humanity, she has to fight her way through a demon infested castle and defeat its master. Up next is Beholder 2. A single player indie adventure game with a unique art style and very positive reviews on Steam. You play as an intern at the central ministry of a totalitarian state where you choose how you walk your way up the ladder. You can achieve this by scheming, spying, completing paperwork or even turning against the state by exposing corruption. Next is Nowhere Prophet. A single player roguelike card game inspired by Indian culture. Set in a far-off planet of Soma, following a technological collapse leading to the complete breakdown of civilization, you play as a mystic gifted with the ability to sense and affect electrical currents as you lead a band of outcasts on a pilgrimage across a procedurally generated map in search of the crypt, all while engaging in a tactical turn-based combat. 
Gas Guzzlers Extreme is an adrenaline pumping combat racing game with the goal of dominating the tracks by racing and shooting opponents. Also featuring a single player campaign touted to have over 12 hours of gameplay time. You start out with lower performance vehicles and work your way up to higher performance models by spending your hard earned rewards which can also be used to customize your vehicles. Finally, we have Avicii Invector, a music rhythm game developed in memory of the late Swedish superstar DJ Avicii, featuring 25 of Avicii's songs including his hit tracks. You journey across six different worlds, racing through music tracks with the goal of matching the music beat. That's all for this week guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. We'll see you in the next one. Happy gaming.